Hi, it's Carlos from RC Advisor. Um, when you're flying a model airplane around, do you wonder if the seat is too far forward or too far back? And you, 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 you often think, oh, gee, what's a test that I could do to know for sure whether it's, whether it's in the right spot or not? Um, I, I honestly, I, I don't think. I, I think the best test that you can do is just fly the airplane, because it, the, the right CG depends on the airplane. It depends on you. It depends on what you're trying to do, what type of flying, and it depends on the on the weather conditions. You know, is it windy? Is it gusty? Is it calm? And and the only way to really know is to just fly the type of flying that that model was designed for, the type of flying that you care about. But there's some tests that people have used. One of them is called the dive test, and you basically trim the airplane for level flight, put it into a dive, and if it's properly trimmed, it's supposed to pull out. If it, if it keeps on going straight or it, or, or it tucks under, that means the CG is too far back. And that's just a side effect of what I've said before, because when the CG is a little bit forward, you have a little bit more up elevator. So, so when it speeds up, it pulls out. And again, that's a consequence of the CG being a little bit forward. Another test is in very flying tests. You trim it for level flight, you flip it upside down, and the airplane is supposed to keep on flying, flying straight. Well. First of all, you may not care. You may not care about passing the inverted flying test. You know, if it's a trainer, you don't care. But, but for a properly trimmed aerobatic airplane, you're supposed to be able to flip it upside down and have it not require pitch adjustments. And again, it's just a side effect of the CG being a little bit further back so that uh, it, does, it doesn't have much up elevator to begin with. So you flip it upside down, it's still gonna be pretty good. Uh, make sure, you know, another test is when you come in for a landing, make sure you have enough up elevator to flare comfortably. Um, if it's a glider, you know, fly through the thermals and, and see if the airplane reacts. You know, if it doesn't react, that means the CG is too far forward. So that's a key test for, for a glider. And, and another test, which is real simple, just speed up. You know, fly the airplane, give it more throttle and see if it pitches up. Again, if it's a trainer, it may not be as much of an issue, but if it's an aerobatic airplane, you may care more about that, in which case you want to have the CG a little bit further back so that it doesn't pitch up. So anyway, fly the airplane, have fun, keep, it, keep, keep a close eye on it. I'm, al I'm always adjusting the trim on my airplanes as I learn to fly them better and as I notice little imperfections in the way it flies. So, so be prepared to, to always keep an eye on the trim and, and always make some adjustments until you're happy and, and you don't see any way to make it better. So, till next time.